Good morning to the first episode <laughs> of Chef Save by Don Russell. Well, you know, I'm stuck here in my house uh, because of the coronavirus. So I'm turning to doing videos on everything that seems uh, something I could do. Today, I made asparagus quiche. Would you like to see it? I got it sitting here on the stove and I can take you over to it real quick. Here it is. Can you see it yet? No. There. Oh, my asparagus quiche. Okay. So I made asparagus quiche. Quiche. What happens when you make asparagus? You all know what happens. You have things left over. This little piece of asparagus is a stem. I hate throwing these things away because this is good food. And you know, I think it's best if we can figure out a way to eat the food that's good that we have and rather than throwing that away. Now, a lot of people think I'm a very silly man and I think probably I am a very silly man. However, I have a, something to show you. Now look what I've done. Look what I've done here. I have peeled these um, stems from the asparagus. Now, I'm going to show you one. I'm going to do it a little bit here. It takes a few minutes. Just take your peeler and you watch your fingers. You peel down the side of this. So there you are peeling. Kind of trying, you, if you get it under the top of the asparagus stem, uh, on the soft end, you uh, just push down a little bit. You can take that, that hard, unpleasant skin right off of the <laughs> asparagus stem. Okay, so I'm going to try and finish soon, soon up really quick and show you what a wonderful blessing it is to not throw food away especially since you've got lots of time now you're sitting in the house you can't do anything you got to fix food you know some of you may be still uh i have a friend who's doing doordash and the doordash uh gives her a nice income a little bit of an income extra money she goes out for a few hours and she makes 30 40 bucks door dashing okay um i don't th i don't know if she likes it particularly <laughs> But she's, you know, with this coronavirus, all the people, people just don't want to cook. You know, they want to, they don't want to do anything themselves. So they're, they're, they're calling people to go to the store and, uh, or go to an eatery and pick up some food and bring it over to their house. Well, you know, there may be a time coming soon when we can't do that even. Okay, I just peel this. It looked like this. Uh-huh, woody, no fun to eat. Why? The skin on it is woody. The inside is not. This is really fun. Now, you can take this thing, and I'm telling you, this is very tasteful. Not woody at all. Biting through it really easy. Don't throw these away. This tastes better than a carrot. It is very fun. And it is extremely nutritious. It's not too sweet and it is not sour or bitter at all. It is simply delicious. I challenge you, stop throwing these away and just peel them and eat them. You do it with carrots. I eat that whole thing. Nothing, just nothing on it that I don't, just, that I, that I just like. You know, I can do all these. I can have them as a snack anytime I'm hungry, sitting around watching TV. It's a lot better than that stuff that has that poison in it that we all eat. That's in all our food. And the FDA has, has confirmed it as a poison, but we still eat it. I don't know why we eat poison, but we do. It's called refined. What am I going to say? Refined sugar. Ha ha ha. 
Oh, it's evil. It's of the devil and you shouldn't eat anything with refined sugar in it. I'm telling you, it's a poison. If you don't believe me, check it out. So anyhow, save your asparagus stems. Don't throw them away. Peel them. Use them and eat them as a wonderfully nutritious snack. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you so much for watching my... What did I call it? This is the first episode. I've never done this before. I, I think I called it uh, Saver Chef. Is that what I called it? Or Chef Saver? I don't know. If you're watching this and you want to give me a suggestion on what kind of... What I should call this segment. This short uh, gift to you to save your food. Please, please respond to me. God bless you all. And be happy. Come up with new creative things to do. To keep you busy throughout your day. You'll be amazed at what <laughs> what you can learn at this time, what you can uh, do that you didn't think you could do before, and projects around the house that you actually can have fun doing because you're not in a big hurry trying to get to your job and you haven't dealt with some jerk who is pushing you around all day long, telling you what to do, who doesn't have a clue what the heck they're doing. That sounds like a country western song. I'll write that next week. Hey, have a great day. Bye-bye for now.